EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, longtime foes square off in the NFC East as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So the drive's going to start with Pollard, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv, and you run into a tough crowd. Prescott down. Open man downfield is long. It's complete. And he's able to get this to the 30-yard line before he's out of bounds. Give him 32 on the play. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line. And we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop. And that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? They go back to Pollard on second down. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Second and five. And they'll run it here. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Kevante Turpin scampering home from 19 yards out. And the Cowboys will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. Let's go The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And able to get this out to the 25. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And they'll begin on the ground with Gamewell. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. 
Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Hurt sets up to throw it. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. Smith, 63 yards. And the Eagles are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always at the score that until they stop me from doing something, I'm willing to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Lamb will go in motion. Prescott. Open man, the tight end Luke Schoolmaker. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 27 yards there, a first down. First and 10 at the 46 yard line. Running right, it's Pollard. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. These two teams all tied after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Here's Pollard again. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Now is second and ten. Lamb in motion left. A second down throw for Prescott. Throw is caught by Schoonmaker. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up the first down. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. 
And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. There to stop him, Terrell Edmonds. Defense doing their job, really nowhere to run the football. Yeah, it's almost textbook, wasn't it? Every place he tried to find an open spot, there just wasn't one. Congrats to the defense, no game. Call fitting your gaps, right? I love it, you're exactly right. Second down, Pollard again. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot, and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. Go, go, go. Get out there, get out there. Get out there. 46, 46. Go to 54, go to 54. Why? On third down, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. Now let's see. Yeah, the offense still out there. They elect to go on fourth and 11. Gallup goes in motion. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Dak and the offense still out there. They are going to go for it. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Now Prescott on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Mike McCarthy took the gamble, didn't pay off. And the Eagles defense able to hold. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? And you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. On first and ten, it's game well. And he powers his way up past the 30. Marquise Bell in on that stop. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. From the 31, here's second down and five. Now a carry for Swift. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? The Eagles hustling to the line, clock rolling. They'll try and run here with Swift. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. Well, they gave themselves options there on the third down play and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Throwing his hurts. That's complete. It's Oku Abernon. So five yards here, five on the play. Third and seven now. It's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Dallas Goddard, of course, he'll do well in this stadium. He's got a first down. They go play action with Hertz. Looking here for Smith downfield. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Eagles. Devontae 
Smith. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Eagles will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Kevontae Turpin now from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. First down, Prescott. That is incomplete. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Here's second and ten. Looking to throw, Prescott. He finds his man, Pollard. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That one good for 26 and a first down. Yeah, big play there. When you have a running back that you can use like a wide receiver, when he has that kind of versatility, you do as they did there. Get him out of the backfield and give those defensive backs something else to worry about. Prescott looks to throw on first. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. And partner, to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Final play of the half, Prescott. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Justin Evans. And he will be out of bounds with no time remaining on what will be the final action of this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back, halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. A one touchdown ball game, 14-7 our scores. We get back at it on EA Sports. And they're gonna start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Philly offense set to go. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it and try and win this ball game. Go, go, 
Two yards to go, second down. Swift going to try up the middle. Four yards the pick up, first down. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. First down, and they go with Swift again. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. He'll get that complete to Albert O. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On the end around, here comes Smith. And that one covered beautifully. The defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. They went backwards five yards there on third down to break up four. The Eagles send out their punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And that'll kick and go out of bounds just outside the 15 at the 16-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. I feel like I can see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. They go back to Pollard on second down. And he's able to get up here to the 26. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Going to run again here with Pollard. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The tackle by Terrell Edmonds. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Meanwhile, Dax throw pulled in by Lamb. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. And the slot man goes in motion left. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. 46, 46. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Throwing Prescott. That's over the middle to Schoonmaker. And they got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Pollard will take it up the gut. And he gets this to the 35. 
Good for a gain of five. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. 63 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Pollard going to try the right side. And able to work his way down to the 16. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. They'll run with Pollard. And they'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard, a 16-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two. But go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is is we're all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And quickly, they get to the line. They'll send Brown in motion right. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll push ahead for about three to the 36. The battle in the trenches never more important than right now. This is third and inches. On third down, here comes Swift. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. A four-yard pickup. In motion right is Brown. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. He's to the 15. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown, 60 yards. And the Eagles strike quickly to take the lead here in the fourth. Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement long touchdown. And he gets halfway there down to the 
the one yard line. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Here's second and a yard. Now a give here to Pollard. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 106 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Now Prescott. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Ferguson. And here we are in the fourth quarter, Parker, and we watch him drive for him. Would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. It'll be a handoff to Pollard down at the 35. It'll be second down. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Here's a second and seven. Now Prescott. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by Reed Blankenship. And the Eagles have just about sewn up this football game. When you talk about making winning plays, that...